together in peg 25 at the Dorchester Social. We've got Paul Kalo, who is the event organiser. Um, Paul, tell us about what you've been doing since we started at 12 o'clock. Raking. <laughs> raking. Lots and lots of raking. Yeah. Castable rake. 12 rats. Okay, what's your sort of plan for this session to start off with? I know you've been raking a fair bit. Uh, but you found your spot out there, didn't you? And um, you'll find it's just a bit weedy. There's silkweed on the bottom, which is not something I like to fish over, really. But I'm kind of stuck with it, so I've raked it for, like, yeah. it says, a few hours. And now I'm putting a load of particles and chop worm out. Okay, so what's your plan sort of going forward? Are you going to be sticking to that spot? Or are you going to be looking for others while you're fishing? I'm going to fish a margin spot, which I will also rake later on today when I've got my energy back. Yeah, a couple of beers? Probably sort that out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'll be just right in the margins, float fish probably. Yeah. So are you, uh, obviously you're going to fish feeder set up out there on your 12 wrap spot. Do you Take just... Heavy rigs. Yeah. Keep the line really tight. Okay. Just bob in if you've got one. Yeah. And what, what sort of pound line are you using for that? Uh, I'm using 10 at the moment, but when it gets really weedy I'd use 12. It's just the launch doesn't have as much weed this year for some reason. Yeah. I know, I know quite a few people on the lake. They, um... They're often asking about, you know, sort of what pound line you're using for your, your, your rig, you know, they're always unsure. Some people go a bit too light on here using four or five pound for the tench. When obviously, as soon as you look into a carp, which doesn't happen too often, but you get snapped up. So what sort of rig material are you using? Uh, well, like I say, main line is, is 10 or 12. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm using helicopter rigs, so I'm using four inch hook links. Yeah. And I tend to use, um, well, it's not, not available in the shops anymore, it's not old, old Corum. Mono, my hooking. Yeah. But uh, mono, uh, mono, mono, mono fluoro will work perfectly well. Yeah. Um, and then, depending on the swim and what's on the bottom, I'll pop it up. Yeah. Or I'll fish on the bottom. And so what? And what? What pound hook length are you using? Uh, I'm using ten. My my feeling is if I hit, if I if I get a carp or I get a, a, a dream tench, I don't want to lose it because it's completely breaks. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. They're not riggy fish. Yeah. But you know, they're fussy eaters, but I don't think they're riggy fish particularly. Yeah. And it's, it's a weedy venue. There's carp in here. You've got to fish. You've got to fish so you can land the carp, basically. Yeah. Are you, are you fishing rotten bottom? As I know, you quite often yeah. fish that. I, yeah. I, I yeah. The way I set up my heli rig, I put a rig ring at the bottom and then tie a uh, sort of eight, six or eight pound yeah. line to the feeder. So if the feeder does get caught in the weed, which it, it sometimes does with a heli rig. On a weekly venue, that's the thing that's going to snap, and you're still attached to your to your fish. Yeah, yeah. So this is the spot out there. So what you're sort of going for on, on your mix for your spot at the moment? What sort of mix are you using in your spot out there at the moment? Yeah. Hemp, micro pellets, chocolate, dead maggots, a little bit of crushed boiling. Yeah. I think you're quite like me, you use various bits, you know, anything a tench likes really, you just set a buffet up for them, don't you? Exactly. I yeah. Have, I'd add spotting and a line. So yeah. I've got my, there's, there's, a mark, there's two markers on the, on the uh, far bank, two trees, two trees. Yeah. And I basically break between the two, so I've got a line and I'm going to spot onto the line. Yeah. And then I'll put a rod either end of it. Yeah. It looks good, I mean, like you say, it's weedy out there, but at the same time, we all know that the tench, when they get in that weed, as long as your hook bait's presenting, they'll find it. Tench love their weed. Yeah. Uh, they live in the weed. It's all about presenting your bait. That's all it is, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Well, we'll leave you to spawn in, and I'm sure between myself and you, we'll do a bit more recording. Obviously, the hope is we'll go around and speak to all the other guys through the weekend, and uh, we'll see what happens. And obviously, any fish, we'll get as much footage of captures as we can, and hopefully have a great weekend. So we'll catch you later.
Lovely job. It's amazing playing it on the nice rod like this. Yeah, it makes a big difference using tench gear, doesn't it? Yeah, and the last rods were a little bit light for the job. Not a massive one, it's fine. Absolutely no, I'll switch over to the worm. Lovely job, well done, mate. So I think this is second fish of the uh, social, isn't it? I think. Yes, mate, yeah, Jamie had a six pounder. Nice male. What was it? Five pound four. Five four. That's it. Literally just stuck that rig back out. I swapped it over from a little wafter to a worm kebab, and uh, off it went. Did you within ten minutes? Started cooking my sausages as always. Yeah, happy to be off the mark. They're waking yeah. up. They're not afraid to feed. So happy days. Pretty fish though. Lovely. Oh yeah. Typical yeah, yeah. Dorch tench. Like it. Absolutely brilliant. Good one stuff. Of, one of many. I hope. Yeah, let's hope so. Back. Lovely. This is Anthony's second fish. He did did just recently lose one. Weeded him. It's not going to win any prizes, but it's a tench, and that's what it's all about. Good man. Well done. Sorry, boy. I still ain't got my scales out, mate. You're out. Are yours out still? I'll go get him, mate. Okay. Fish number two. The beast of Dorchester Lake. One pound, nine whole ounces. Teddy bear eyes. Teddy bear eyes, mate, but in a few years time. It'll be a tank. Hopefully, mate, yeah. Nice one though, well done, mate. So it's getting towards the end of day one. Uh, it's about nine o'clock. Hopefully it's the witching hour. It's got a bit cooler, which is nice. A few fish have started coming out. In fact, there's some bubbling over there, some feed in the swim. It's uh, starting to feel fishy. However, all I've had is birds in the swim so far. Generally, about there. Well, Here's hoping we'll get a few. Now that is a tench. <laughs> right, should we weigh it out, Jamie? Pop it in this thing, let's yeah. it up, mate. So you've weighed it on your scales at 10 pound one, yeah? 10 pound one, yeah. If that's the case, that is the four, first Dorchester double in quite a few years. Well, I hope it is. Look yeah, at it, that's it, 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 definitely. I mean, look, it's uh, spawn bound, it's a big plump, plump fish. Screamed off like a car. Did it fight like a cat? Yeah. <laughs> Fun on that rod. There you go, mate. I've got you on shaking. <laughs> Outrageous, mate. Come on. £10 one ounce. Oh, get well it done, my friends. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> that is outrageous. Well done, mate. Right. Well, that's the picture, shall we? That is a tench, mate. I've never seen a tench that big before. Brilliant. Brilliant. Mate. On a tench social as well. Yeah, the there she goes. Get in there. Jamie, you're a hero. <laughs> well Get done, buddy. There. Okay, 
There we go, six pound four, about 12.30. Bit of a uh, rude awakening, but good to get the first fish of the uh, social on the uh, board. So let's put it back and uh, get that rod back out again. And hopefully we'll get another one. Yeah, well done, mate. Cheers, buddy. Happy days, here's for the next one. Oh yeah. Apologies for the shadow. Paul's just uh, landed his first fish. He was sorting out his rod, and his other one's gone off. It's all turning round. Little babby in it. Yep, little babby thinker. Lovely. Where's all these small ones coming from, mate? Yeah, it's funny, and that one's just well, that's probably about two pound. Maybe three. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Both of them are working. It's funny, isn't it? Very little confidence. All of a sudden. Nice, that was on the maggot rig again, was it? That was on the maggot, and the other one was on the worm. Nice. Both rigs doing the business. It's one on worm and one on maggots. Not a big fish, obviously, but it's yeah. a fish. <laughs> And uh, on this social, we're also uh, keeping track of the uh, total combined weight. So it's one for the cause. Anyway, let's put him back. Yeah. Well done, mate. Now you've got two rods to get out. Yeah. Happy days. So I'll tell you what, though, that's a mint fish. Yeah, it's good condition. So this is the rig I'm using, the maggot rig anyway. I've got a um, fake maggot made out of pop-up mix. And then sort of hand roll between the fingers and then a couple of maggots put on the hook and mounting the uh, the fake maggot using a bait band Done all right. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to leave. So it's uh, must be about what one thirty, something like that. You got a six two. They're starting to come out around the lake. It would seem. Yeah, man. What a mate. It's fizzing on the spot, mate. The left hand one. So it's half five. Um, first morning, or second morning. First morning we've woken up on the lake. I had a 4-4 four, four earlier this morning, out by the island on Worm. Nice little fish to wake up to. Everything's rebaited. People are up. I think we're all all fishing now, and uh, looking forward to a good day. A few fish came out last night. Jamie had the monster, new lake record, and uh, yeah, there's some fizzing going on. All looking enjoyable. Hoping for a good day. 
Paul's just pulled his rod in to find a little baby, probably one of, one of the new ones. Um, that was the smallest fish of the competition. He still wouldn't be winning it. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's been one slightly smaller than that. Yeah. That pretty. Got a few, few battle wounds on there, hasn't he? Maybe a pike, I think. Anthony's into his uh, fourth of the session, by the look of it. Wallowing in. Yes, mate. Presents fourth fish of the uh, session. Okay. So how big was that? Six pound four ounce. Well done, mate. Fish number four. Worm kebab rig. Out on a particle spot that I started baiting up yesterday. Very happy. I think that probably takes you into the lead for. Yeah, maybe give total me, weight, doesn't it? Yeah, probably two pound or something like that. Unless someone's keeping back a secret from last night. Yeah, we had quite a few shady characters on here, but yeah, yeah very happy. This one's came out the blue. There's been no fizzing on that spot, but yeah, can't really grumble at that, can you? Very nice, lovely. Well done, mate. Resident chef. As Mr. always. Thomas. I thought I was going to skip this one, but no. I no, delegation, mate. Delegation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raffle prizes. Nice tidy sum, sum of money going to the club. Some nice donations from the tench fishers, from Flakes Baits, and from the Hook Bait Company. And then we've got the uh, Tench Fishers Rig Clinic as well. Showing off some uh, some of the rigs that the Tench Fisher guys use. Does it just talk about those green worms all the time? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Good slings they are, mate. They are. Um, and they're green number 22. Number three. Got it, I'll take that. Thank you. Daddy, imagine if we 
Well done, nice fish. Six, six pounds, six, seven, somewhere in between. Yeah. Aiden, let go. Six, seven male. Six, seven. At half past seven on evening two. Cracking fish. Come here, you fucker. Beautiful, isn't it? That's all that raking. Yeah, pays off. Can you move the net for me if I take off a little bit? Beautiful fish, eh? Thank you. Stunning, mate. Stunning. Still on the What you got there, Matt? You? Uh, I've got my cow bone. Seven. Fish. Tedge Fisher's breakfast. He's quite happy about it. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Not the intended species. Not today. First calf from Dorch today. Yeah. They do fight hard, them uh, commons. What's going on with that? Leaders will come in, isn't it? Let's get him out of the way. Looks like a gra grass cart the way it's flapping around <sighs> on the bank. A bit beaten up from spawning by the looks of it. Yeah, it's got, it's got a bit of bruising on it. Yeah. I oh, know, I'll tell you what that is. That's my, I'm sure that's my, my devil-bellied friend. So yeah, it's, it's not the one I thought that went there. It's got a massive droopy tail. Let's have a quick pitch. It is your first orch cart. Yeah. How many, how many centuries is this now, Anthony? Number five. Number five. Slow down a little bit. Okay, no monster, but it's all going towards that total. Slippery, better. Huh? 
One nine, wouldn't it? One ten. One ten, sorry. Don't want to do out that ounce. Yeah, man, it's important. Nice yeah. one, though. Pretty little fish, isn't it? I think they always are, to be honest. Happy days, mate. Happy days. Be nice. Six, maybe a seven pounder. Be nice. So we got what? Six hours left still. This time it's a nice yeah. morning as well. Oh, it's perfect for it. We will see. They're sort of, they are starting to come out around the, the lake as well. There's a few yeah. angles at them, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. But yeah, it's nice to see these. Though. I haven't seen many small ones come out in ages, and uh, this weekend's produced quite a few of this size, which is lovely. And it's great for the future. So nice one. Paul's looked into another fish, possibly a carp. We don't know yet. <laughs> uh, could be a tench. I'll put the weight for it, that's what the uh, pieces of carp. Going for that margin. Going for that weed. It's a good tench, mate. Nice. There she blows. Nice. We got Paul, just landed another one. Six pound free this one goes. Happy days, mate. Have a decent scrap actually, considering it's a female. Yeah. Is that done a white pop up with some worm? Yeah. Nice, white pop up. Mate. Popped up about four inches. So Happy it seems a bit counterintuitive, but they do like it. It's got a big chin on it. <laughs> it's got almost an upturned bottom lip. <laughs> Grumpy. Yeah, mate. Lovely fish. Lovely. Happy days. We'll get some snaps. Fish on. That went screaming off there as well. Could be a carp. Churning line, that was. Part of my language. Do you want to use the big one? Yeah, I think so. Not together, is it? Yeah. yeah. Sort of fears of a repeat. No, don't, mate. <laughs> I can stop filming actually yeah, if you want me to. Yeah. Don't, don't want to curse you. It's got some fight in it, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, mate, that's a nice fish. Get that in the net. Good God. Not no, it's not, but it was a proper fight for you, though. Well right done, buddy. That'll help the cause. Got a funny. Uh... Oh, I reckon that could be a funny thing on there, didn't they? A few scars there. Proper old warrior. Got a pop away.
six. Uh, it's hovering. Big old paddles on like that. The tail. Decent fish. These males, they do fight hard. Yeah. Yeah, they're all in a row. <laughs> Pretty cool. There it is. Just gone half nine. Paul was praying on his knees. And uh, he's just dicked into uh, another fish. We'll assume it's a tench, but he does like catching carp, so we'll see. He loves catching carp. Fighting? Has it found the weed? Big tail pattern, mate. Looks a bit carpy. Yeah, it's You're over your line, mate. How it's managed to do that. Tench. Well done, mate. Got another tinker, another tinker. You all zeroed up there, buddy. The pool's, this is Paul's fish, he's just landed. Five pound, eight ounce. Lovely female, lovely shape as well. Just started to put a bit of the weight on, hasn't she? Yeah, she's got a few weeks of the year, I reckon. Yeah, nice fish, though. Got quite a fat fight, like we say. It <laughs> felt like it might have been a male, actually. But or even a carp. <laughs> at one point, I was wondering, yeah. Yeah, uh, nice, mate. Nice, though. Lovely job. And away. So, we've got 20 minutes left of the first tench social on Dorchester Lake. And it's pretty close, actually, for the, uh, the prize for the... Uh, highest combined weight of tench. There's only a few pounds in it, really. Uh, fisheries officer Anthony Dumper is leading at the moment. He's got a small margin. And there's Jamie Johnson who's caught that cracking fish that is, is definitely gonna take the prize for the uh, biggest fish of the uh, fish in. But Jamie's pretty close behind and then I'm creeping up slowly but surely on the two leaders. So there's a chance for any one of the three of us, I think, to, to take the money for that combined total. And like I say, Jamie's got it in the bag with that outstanding 10-1. It's to the wire, which is nice. It's been a great weekend. We've had great weather, had a lovely barbecue. Good raffle prizes and the tent fishers uh, taught us through some rigs, some of which I'd not seen before, so that was great. 
and uh, like I say, 20 minutes to go until we uh, reel in and uh, hand out the cash prizes. Done. And it's the man dumper takes the uh, total weight crown. What have you got to say about it? Finally. <laughs> <laughs> You have been <laughs> defeated. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's good day, mate. Good. It's a good match. It's a good good weekend. It's nice that it kind of went to the bone, really. Yeah. Uh, Jamie just blew everyone away with his massive, massive 10 1. But, uh, that's all the it's way over there. Fishing, no. But it's been a good weekend. There's been plenty of fish caught. And we've got another tent social in a few weeks' time, which is fully booked.